28. I'm originally from Epsom in Surrey, but I now live in Bristol. I have been climbing for about four years. I found climbing to be a very empowering sport for myself. Like as I've got stronger, the people I've met and the friends I've made through climbing is just it's just really really special. And then alongside that like getting to go out to different places that I never would have gone to. I think when I started I was really quite frail. I had a lot of dreams. I wanted them I wanted to be in the Olympics because I did a lot of running. Running became my way of managing everything that was going on in my life and in my mind at the time. And so I ran myself into the ground, I guess. I was diagnosed with anorexia when I was 13 and I spent all of my teenage years in hospital. I was in intensive care at one point through liver failure and kidney failure and my heart was failing. When I was in Steps Eating Disorder Unit in Bristol and I met my friend Laura who said she'd climbed and I was like oh wow I've done that like once and then so she took me to block for the first time and I instantly was like oh my gosh this is amazing. I don't think a lot of the block staff thought that I should have been climbing to be honest I could barely walk but I think from that I think I just I fell in love with it instantly. I knew that I wanted to get to the top of the wall, so I had to eat. Two years ago, it was the first time I came to Portland. It's the first time I'd ever climbed on real rock. It's the first time I'd ever really been on a rope. So we can start with this, maybe, yeah. Which one's that one? In, yeah, what does it say? Once the start is dispatched, cruise to the lower off, which is located some way below the top of the cliff. I'm a little bit nervous now, but it's like excited nerves. But I am a little bit like, oh, because it's like happening. That makes sense. And it's, uh, it's a bit terrifying if I fall. Mm. So I'm trying to make it over here. Yeah. I've d I, like, I didn't find it as, uh, as scary as I thought, apart from the leaning back bit. So, some nice hand holds as well. Which, uh, yeah, I want to do it again now, so. Can I, can I, can I? I'm very happy, so happy. It's like happy place central, so good. I was told that um, I wouldn't make it till I was like 23 and now I'm like 26 and coming to a place like this and I can't wait to obviously explore more and it feels like it's only just the beginning of seeing and exploring and actually like touching and smelling and feeling and being which is really exciting.
was climbing more and then yeah making friends having a great time um, and feeling the strongest that I'd ever felt um, and then the uh, and then the pandemic happened so and all of my healing coping mechanisms and contacts. So my friends, my, my climbing community and my church family, I wasn't allowed to see anybody, I wasn't allowed to be with anybody. And that aspect of it I found really hard because that was what was starting to heal me from all my past traumas and stuff. I found that I started to relapse a little bit with my eating. At that point, I had to choose whether I was going to stay ill or I was going to get better. I knew that being ill was painful and lame. <laughs> and then on the other side, I had like what? Could I have a strong body, a well body, and more life, like a bigger life? So I might have had to have been bigger and let go of a lot of stuff that was like really, really hard to let go of. But without letting go of that, I couldn't have the life that I wanted to have. And then I came back after the third lockdown stronger and like so much more motivated. with the climbing community as well, and so supportive and so encouraging. Yeah, all my friends that I climb with anyway are wonderful. <laughs> so I'm so grateful. I'm so, so grateful. Yeah, we're in Portland and we're climbing, swimming, having fun, having a great time. Yeah, life's a lot better. Life is good. Yeah. That was amazing. That was really cool. And just as the sun's setting as well, it's like perfect. I feel pretty overwhelmed. 
right now. Um, I never thought I'd ever get to anywhere like this or do anything like this and it's absolutely stunning. Um, it is a bit spooky, not gonna lie. It's quite windy and exposed, but it's so worth it. It's amazing. Yeah.